so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I'm sorry if I'm if I sound a little different. I probably don't, but I'm little little sick, just a little bit. <laughs> but um, hey, it's all right. Anyways, I'm very excited to watch this video. I've been waiting for it for like all day. Um, someone made a video reviewing the NRG arc. Give me a sec. <laughs> Someone texted me. Uh, anyways, uh, someone made a video reviewing the whole NRG series, and that blew my mind. And they even asked me to be part of it, so I gladly said yes. I love doing projects like that. I love it, and oh my god, the fact that someone did that about my series, oh my god, just makes me want to make even more episodes right now. <laughs> anyways, that being said, roll the intro. Let's get into this. Alright, so here it is guys. Alright, just look. This looks amazing. Alright, full credit to them. Be sure to go watch this video first and check it out and subscribe to TJS for making this in the first place. This is amazing. I am so, so, so excited. Link in the description. You guys know the drill and that being said, let's do this in 3, 2, 1. Hello my friends. Why hello? Yet another ranking video. I've made a lot of I love that little anyway, I don't know if that's Sonic, but if it is, I love it. Brick games or NRG yeah, it's me! I'm joined by a special guest to tell you about it. I don't know who it is. Hi, I'm it's Nick me! NRG <laughs> and Nick Rick Games. Um, <laughs> and thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, honestly, thank you. So thank the you, NRG honestly. series, like, what it is, is a group of video game characters all together in this universe, and they go on wacky misadventures. True, and true. It's basically like uh, just like an alternate universe of SMG4, but my own take on it. I do like the accurate, story accurate types of universes, so that's what I usually try to go with, with also some comedy in there, of course. But um, yep, because yeah, people like, love uh, the comedy. Some very special to me. I do too. It has a bunch of my favorite fictional characters. Like any of the Vector episodes, those universe. ones are my favorite. Hanging out, chilling out, and if it, Vector's in the episode, it's already on the top. Adventures or whatever the hell I want them to do. <laughs> And it's been an absolute blessing working It really has. It genuinely, so, genuinely uh, has. That's it. Thank you so much for having me on. And back to you, James. Thanks, Nick. Now let's get to the <laughs> Yeah, I mean him like this now. Mario and so Oh my god. I haven't heard some of these names in forever. Because, like, the whole Sinister arc isn't, like, is my very first arc. And, like, it was just back with sound effects. I was this whole, all done with sound effects. And I was able to, like, do any of the episodes whenever I felt like it. That was just me by myself. Before I had writers, animators, voice actors. Before I had any of that, man. If you guys would like like it, let me know in the comments. I we may go back and redub the Sinister Arc, and I might post it on my second channel if you guys would actually be interested in that. Mario and Sonic are arguing. No way! He did, he did channel descriptions. Blow up a dragon. That's amazing. Okay then. They must have been <laughs> and blow him up. Yes. Meanwhile, Tail <laughs> Machine goes haywire and brings with God. It a this brings back nostalgia. Action. I mean, basically nothing happened in this one. Fair, fair. Sonic did do something illegal, though. Back so when I was like, learning how I don't to... Know. It's fine. Fix stuff? Not fix stuff. Make stuff? Everyone is confused by the Axel clone. Tails tries to talk to it, but it isn't budging. So Sonic and Axel attempt to fight it, which... Oh yeah, my very well, first actually. fight scene in Gmod. Turns very out first from time. A world similar to the SMG4 world. Okay, I'm just going to say this now just because a lot of people get this confused. And uh, I, I just want to say it now just so people understand. Uh, the NRG universe has no SMG4 characters naturally spawning, if that makes sense. It's like video game worlds mashed together. It, like there's going to be an Origins episode soon, so no worries. It'll explain everything. But um, it's basically like Sonic, Mario, Minecraft, like, like all those worlds confusing into one. Tari ended up going there to find Axel. Axel ended up there, uh, like, ended up in the energy universe by mistake after he was killed. That's, and, like, uh, Jeeves and Shroomy, those two appear, like, uh, I will explain that in the future, but those two are also from the SMG4 universe. All of them are from the original SMG4 universe. That's the energy lore. None of them were naturally born in that universe. So when people say, bring Bob in, bring all, they aren't in there yet. Anyways. Oh, yeah. The energy universe is slightly different to the SMG4 universe. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. Sinister, you know, he just summed it up better for me. <laughs> Thank you. They offered to just wait five fucking to their world. So Mario and Sonic show them around. Oh, I remember this. Tails I remember so this. This is so home. amazing. But to go Sinister back to has see. other plans. This one was better than the last one, but still, it's just okay. Fair enough. 
I loved the Easter disaster. It was so funny. It it's so Easter, fun. so shadows set up an Easter egg hunt for everyone. And Tari clues in sinister on what Easter is. They go looking for eggs, but can't seem to find any. Until two hours later, it's revealed the egg hunt was all a prank, and they kick Shadow's ass. <laughs> This was pretty uneventful. I remember when I used to use that Sonic model and the Sonic Riders models for the other characters. I remember that back back when I did not know how to use the other ones because I didn't have them. Wasn't even much of an Easter special if I'm going to be honest. It's kind of my list. Real? Oh, bottom? Okay. Find the okay. Find the Chaos Emerald. I promise he's going to put near the top. Everyone loved this episode. Every, like, it was just a to test episode to see if people want, like, were okay with me doing, like, plush and figure episodes still. Because I was, I was just doing stop motion and Gmod, at, at, like, for a while. And I kind of didn't do those episodes that much. So that one was a test episode. Um, and my god, did <laughs> people loved it. People loved it. It was amazing. Still one of my favorite episodes, too. Some of the episodes are done in this SML-like toy style. Yeah. And this should be fun. The machine to bring back Sinister is almost complete, but it needs one more Chaos Emerald. So Sonic, Luigi, and Vector I remember out making this video, I loved it. Luigi suggests they split up, so they do that, I guess. They search for a couple of hours, but don't have any luck. Then Sonic has an idea. Down, Down the, the toilet. toilet he goes. Yeah! They meet back up after another few hours and still haven't found it. But turns out, Victor had one all along, <laughs> and Sonic flushed himself for nothing. Yeah. He gave the Emerald to Tails so he can finish the machine. This episode was great. Yeah, Luigi fucking the died. <laughs> the new video style, while being jarring at first, was actually pretty charming. Aww. And Sonic cussing his guts out all the time was just amazing. Best episode yet. <laughs> yeah, I, see, I, call, I called it. I called it. It's in a, oh, I remember that one. Back in Gmod, Tails oh, has yeah. finished the machine, and it's ready to send Sinister back to his rightful universe. Sonic goes to gather the others so he can share the news. But the thing is, nobody knows where Sinister is. Axel and Sonic head off to find him, where they see him walking into the basement. Here they discover he's rigged the castle to blow up, complete with a giant missile and all. Oh, this was shit. a fun one. Finally getting the explanation for the bomb sinister place in the sinister situation was cool too. This one's going below the last. Aww. Sinister has placed a I giant love the review the style and I love the cards. This is so well done. I'm like, I'm like, someone did this. So, someone chose to make... It all about yeah, my God! That, the castle, uh, oh, I love it! I love it! Destroy everything! Not to mention he's tied everyone up, so they're powerless against it. I didn't know how to use the rope gun. Okay, guys, I take out still don't. Sonic fights him for a bit, but then Mario joins in the fight too. But Sinister ain't going down easy. Oh so yeah, I want to introduce the Axel's transformation. Yeah. I mean, the fighting was cool, but this episode was over like instantly. I'll put it above Mario and Sonic do something very illegal. But now it's time for the arc's finale. Destructive friendship. Oh my god, I remember Axel these. Axel and Sinister go head to head in a, well, all out battle. Axel is about to kill Sinister, but Sonic tries to stop him and he turns back to normal. Yeah. Sinister revealed that the reason he wanted to blow up the castle is because he wanted to stay. But everyone assures him that even if they're Man, I miss play, Sinister. I, be I don't know, I might ask if I can put him back can't in the stop show for a massive bit. fucking nuke in Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they post for a group photo and send it back Oh, to it's the amazing! Goodbye, closing out the arc. Yeah. The finale of the Sinister arc had some pretty wholesome moments, but I think that Chaos Emerald one was better. It's still a great episode, though, and it's going right below it. Okay, let's see the ranking. Alright, find the Chaos Emerald's for- Yeah, I call that one. A destructive Friendships, a Sinister Discovery, a Sinister Situation, Sonic vs. Sinister, Mario's uh, do something very illegal, and the Easter Special. I'm oh, sorry, the Easter Disaster. All right, you know what? That's actually a pretty solid list. I'm not gonna lie. The only thing that, like, if it was my list, I'd probably just put the Easter Disaster in first, and then find the Chaos Emeralds, and then like basically, the way the list went is basically how it, like mine is too. I just liked the Easter Disaster because I thought it was funny. Despite being pretty rough around the edges, the Sinister Arc has quite a bit of charm to it. Aw, thank you. The, the very first arc I ever did was the Sinister Arc, which originally wasn't supposed to be an arc. I remember that, yeah, no. It was a collab that I did with a YouTuber friend of mine, and she ended up asking, yep. Dark hey, Chrome. would you like to use my character and put him in your universe? We could do a bit of a collab thing that goes on for a while. So I ended up making the decision um, of making an arc. <laughs> and that was yep. the very first NRG arc. I think it was good for the skills I had back then. I yeah. definitely... Yeah. I definitely love those old videos because they meant so much to me. And yeah. it was my first arc, so I was like really excited to 
get the story out for them. Uh, for the Sinister Arc, my favorite episode from that one was probably the Easter egg hunt. Yeah, like, yeah I remember that. I did? Yeah. I don't know. I, I remember recording this, but yet I completely forget what I said in it. Funny things. I thought that was really cool. Well, yeah, hold up. Before you continue, I just, um, my, like, my thoughts now on the Sinister Arc, like, it's, it's still the same. It's like, I do th say that, like, looking back at all my old episodes, I wouldn't go back and change them, even though the quality isn't the best. It's like, it's all the skills I had back then, and for me, that was really good. For me, that's the best I could have done at that time, and I genuinely would not have... I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get stuff out back then. Like, I, that's why I'm so happy I'm able to pr produce, like, two episodes a week. Because as the episodes get better and better... I'm able to look back and be like, wow, we really have been up in the quality over time. Like, it just makes me feel like that we've been growing, and I've been growing with you guys. I don't know. It's probably just me. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that one. Now, let's get to the second arc, the Eggman Empire. Yeah, that was a huge step in quality. Huge step. Characters I love have that voice acting now. now. Yep. Luigi is stressing about asking out Tari. Oh, yeah, back Luigi when before Tari and Luigi were in a couple, my problems. God. Everyone points out how Eggman has gone soft, so he yeah. sets out to prove he's evil. But this fails as nobody considers him evil anymore. Fun fact, Eggman's Denial is my least favorite NRG episode of all time. It's not because I don't think the writing's bad. It's not because I don't think it's a good. It's not a good start to the arc. It's because the process to make it was awful. I was so stressed because this was my first time having help. And I was like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. But, um, yeah, no, I definitely would say that this was like my, like, I just, I was, I was still so new to having people help me. And I, I also wasn't uh, perfect at communicating it well yet, so. It was a learning curve. It was a learning curve. He's devastated upon this revelation and walks off to clear his head. Also, Luigi's offer to Tari worked. This was a massive step up in quality. It was better than most of the Sinister Arc episodes, to be honest. Still one of my favorite episodes to this day. Sonic and the Amazing Digital Circus is easily top three of my favorite episodes. I have uh, favorite videos I've ever made, period. Love that Tails video. blasts Sonic into a strange new land using another one of his wacky machines. He's sent right into the world of the amazing digital circus. Yep. Sonic gets introduced to the cast and he explains where he's from. After seeing his speed, Kane turns catching Sonic into the adventure of the day. So Sonic does his best to evade everyone and avoid getting <laughs> I hit. remember this. Eventually no one oh. can catch him and I Kane gets him to wish. Episode. So Sonic being Sonic wishes for a chili dog and heads out of there. Allowing the digital circus characters into the real world too. This episode yep. was awesome. Oh, <laughs> baby, you loved and it. And Sonic having his whole not giving shit so happy. with everyone was great. Uh, mysterious employee. Yes, I loved that episode. Vector gets a phone call from an unknown individual. Yeah, I still people still like in my Discord server. People still message me saying like, "What were you thinking for that line you said for Vector? Like, hello, was this a sex line? I don't know." <laughs> he tasks I him with that. kidnapping a silver robot and bringing it to him. So Victor recruits I SPO love doing the Vector and SPO, uh, SPO episodes. Those ones are SPO like some of my favorite ones to do. Wide for him, and then the robot shows up, telling them to surrender to the quote Eggman Empire. Vector gets shot down, so SPO tries to take it out. But Vector recovers and manages to take it down with pure stupidity. Yeah. Also, the one That's employing them was Dr. Eggman all along. This was a good episode, but it felt pretty disjointed and all over the place. So That's I'll put fair. it at the bottom. That's but that doesn't mean That's it's fair. bad. That's fair. Luigi's Day Night. Okay. This was probably... Uh, this is a lot of people's favorite. I still get people to this day saying that this is their favorite episode of all time. And I definitely see why. I really enjoyed making it. It was amazing to finally get, like, my first relationship in my series out. So, yeah. Luigi goes up to Tari and asks her out for a date. And much to his shock, she says yes. He's terrified of messing up the date. But the guys reassure Oh, yeah, back when the Magic of uh, model still Tori's wasn't working. the same issues with the girls... But again, they tell her it'll turn out fine. The date begins, and it's a little awkward, but going well for the most part, until both Tari and Luigi's friend group show up. <laughs> <and finish. laughs> Hello, Luigi sir, did I know you? Confesses love to her. So the others leave, and they share a fun night together, after which Tari gives Luigi his first kiss. Yeah. And behind the scenes, Eggman has given yeah. rise to a sonic robot. If you know I'm an Owl House fan, you know I'm a sucker for romance episodes, and the little teaser for the Sonic bot at the end was cool. But this was just a cute, wholesome episode, and it's the best one yet. Yeah. Me the- Okay. Me the Sonic Trooper is hands down. Ah, uh, is it number one? Actually, it might be... Uh, I think that one's actually number two. I think that genuinely is my second favorite episode I've ever made, period. 
I don't know. It just reminds me of like all the old stop motion videos that people used to make back like back when YouTube was like like 2014 YouTube to 2012. Sorry, 2012 to 2014. I don't know. Everything about it, I love the voice acting, the animation. It just the process was so much fun start to finish to make. It was amazing. I love that episode. Sonic, Silver, and Knuckles are hanging <laughs> out and remark about the recent absence of Eggman. When a robotic Sonic This is so cool that someone actually made ass. this. My god. So the fight if is anyone else makes any, let me know and I actually might react to them. The three guys tap into their powers and take him out pretty easily, though. After defeating him, they see that the robot had an Eggman logo on it. Then Eggman sends out another soldier. This episode was over pretty quick, but did a good job for what it was. Going below Sonic and the Amazing Digital Circus. Yeah! An upgrade of- oh yeah, 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 I remember that one. That was awesome. I think that was one of the best SBO action SBO brings up the mysterious circumstances surrounding Eggman lately, but everyone dismisses him because they think Eggman is on their side. <laughs> until <laughs> another bro. Sonic droid packing lead shows up, oh, saying all shot. hail the Eggman Empire. They ask him what his plans are, but he ain't talking. So Waxel goes zero mode and puts an end to him. Hell yeah. And SBO and the gang head off to warn the others. Meanwhile, Eggman is busy planning the next phase of his mission. This one's going above the last one. Alright. Metal Madness. I, okay. Probably my favorite plush episode we've done. Like, honestly, I think it was just really fun to make. Start Mario to and Tails are fighting I know, over I, I'm just biased towards my Atari comes episodes. in asking where Luigi is. They think he's at the door, but it's actually Metal Sonic from last time. Mario thinks he's joking, but quickly gets his ass handed to him. <laughs> Tori tries to stop him, but she's taken out too. Mario gets the idea to pin him down and tag team him. Kane shows up briefly, but he's gone just as fast. Luckily, Mario powers up to fire Mario Hell yeah. and beats the shit out of Metal Sonic. I mean, he really lets him have it. Yeah, for real. With Metal Sonic taken down, Eggman sends out the next soldier. Chaos Sonic. This was a great episode, going above that Digital Circus one. <laughs> Enter Chaos Sonic, yeah. Kamek, Shadow, and Sonic are heading to the grocery store when Probably Chaos Sonic Probably my least favorite one in the arc, but force. still, I really like it. So the it. trio tries to take him down, but this is the toughest robot yet. Even with all three of them trying their best, he's still not flinching. Kamek uses his wand to hold him in place, and the other two tear him up. After this, they realize Eggman is planning on attacking the castle, so they rush back to see what he's up to. I am the Eggman. Yeah! Alright, hold on one sec. All right, back. After reflecting on how he's gone soft, we get a short recap, yeah, the recap of the, of the stuff the Eggman arc. has done yeah, in the arc. Technically, my first trailer. At the castle. I love the They recount the their run-in with Eggman's that. soldiers. Loved it. And Luigi and Tari reunite. Everyone thinks the threat is over when Eggman comes to make an announcement. Yeah, Eggman's a yeah. I remember that one. Oh my god. Eggman has a message for the crew. Such nostalgia. What he's been doing. Hasn't even been that long ago. Everyone's confused until a giant Eggman neck drops down in front of the castle. I'll be putting both this episode and the one before it at the bottom, but this one Fair is enough. going above it. Fair now enough. let's let the battle begin. Well, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. That was. This one's probably my favorite ending that we've done to an arc so far. Just because I feel like it wrapped it up the nicest. I, I'd still think a Relic of Love arc is fantastic from start to finish. I just think that the conclusion for this one was still the most satisfied. Just because uh, it was like first time voice act, like for a voice actor. I don't know. Probably just because I'm biased. The Eggman mech is ready for attack, and Eggman is back into his evil side fully. Everyone is already spent from taking out the other bots, and they have no idea how to deal with the Eggman mech. He fires a bullet at Axel, but Sonic takes the hit. This I also love the comedy in this episode. Zero mode yeah, Zero Mode! And to help, Silver tries to slow it down by freezing it, while Luigi and Tari tend to Sonic. Sonic has a little- I rem Yes, back. I remember so that scene, that was so straight, funny. He bounces back, ready to like fight. Like the ending part. Was he killed? Yes, this Sadly. was also, I think, some of my best voice acting, because I, I voice Sonic in this series, and um, I remember like I had to like kind of like freak out, and uh, yeah, I thought that was really cool. Yes, but he lived. He's furious with Eggman and turns into some souped-up Dark Sonic. So him and Zero Axel put their powers together and send the mech to the ground in flames. Sonic goes up to him and asks him why being a villain mattered so much. He reveals that it's kind of all he ever knew. But the crew says that even though he tried to end the world, they're still his friends. They're way more forgiving than I'd expect. Look, alright, these guys deal with, like, killers on a daily basis, so, like... Hell, like, if Sonic and Shadow could be friends, I feel like they could forgive anybody. So with newfound hope, 
Eggman promises to lead a new chapter of his life, closing out the episode as well as the Eggman Empire arc. Yeah. Yep, this is the best episode of the series so far. Aww. Uh, Love the action. I'm happy the about that. Bits too. That it's makes me happy. All right, so long live the Eggman Empire is first, second is Luigi's Day Night, that's fair. Three is Metal Madness, uh, Sonic and the Amazing Digital Circus, an upgraded mess, Enter Chaos Sonic, Meet the Sonic Trooper, Eggman's Denial, the Mysterious Employer, Eggman's Announcement, I am the Eggman. That's a pretty fucking solid list. Mine isn't too far off from that. I'd pr like, my first is definitely um, uh, Meet the Sonic Trooper. Second is uh, the um, Sonic and the Amazing Digital Circus. Third is long live the Eggman Empire, then basically the rest is just so on and so forth. If we're going thumbnails though, then I'd have to rate it different. The uh, Eggman Empire arc, which is probably like a was a big step in quality, in my opinion. Um, I had like help this time. I had a group yep. of animators and a very amazing, talented group. That if you guys are watching this, thank you so much for making the show so amazing. It would not be possible without you guys. It's not just my series anymore. It's a bunch of people. It's uh, glitches, Ant Destroyers, uh, Richard Animations. It's it's all their series as well. Because I wanted to. Yeah make the threat bigger than the sinister arc then the next one was hey uh eggman's trying to take over the whole planet um after you guys were all on good terms i just i have no complaints with it and i had so much fun doing it uh my favorite episode from that arc definitely would have to be meet the sonic trooper yeah uh, no i feel like the voice yep. acting the even past me that i don't remember recording that I can watch it over and over even knows that that's my favorite episode. So much happiness. I'll just have a smile on my face the whole time. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I agree. The Eggman Empire was definitely an improvement in every way. Now let's move on to the third and final arc. Yep, a relic, a relic of, love. of love. Definitely, I'd say the best arc. Best arc, I'd say. Um, I don't know. So I am liking the one that we're currently doing. I can't tell you guys the name of it yet, but there is a playlist for it. So be sure to go check that out. But I really like how that one's shaping up because a lot of people have been wanting it for a long time. Sonic is pissed that Amy and Shadow have been hanging out, but denies having any feelings for her. Yeah. He goes to confront them, but the gang is about to head out to investigate a relic. Oh yeah, Nick, Nick was introduced to Shadow reveals that he does like Amy, and calls out Sonic for his complex feelings regarding her. But following this, Shadow and Sonic and Nick look for whatever this relic is. Shadow manages to find it, and it gives him a vision of something. It also changes him, giving him white stripes and a new attitude. This was a solid starting episode and set up the future romance themes pretty well. Also, the Nick model looks nice. Aw, thank you. Aw, they did do that, that part. Thank you. Amy has been worried about Shadow. He's been acting weird and ghosting her. So Sonic volunteers to see what his problem is. He tells Sonic how he's been thinking about how he never accepted Sonic as a friend. So the two of them start over as friends. Yeah. But when Sonic leaves, something clearly isn't right. I, okay, inspiration I took for those parts were um, the scenes from the cosmology lore from SMG4 when Axel first got, like, possessed. I was about to say depressed. <laughs> um, when Axel, like, I, I took scene, like, like, inspiration from some of those scenes and kind of, like, like, tease it being like, oh, is Shadow gonna die? Everyone thought he was. I'm very surprised that so many people did. I didn't mean for people to think that he was gonna die. I kind of... Meant to be like, oh, they're going 06 route is kind of what I was going for. But I mean, I kind of, we lean towards it towards the end. Yeah, Sonic to keep an eye on Shadow for the time being. But then Vector pops down. My boy. a challenge. This is about the same quality as the last episode. But the last one is slightly better, so I'll put it below it. That's fair. Okay. Okay. Any of my dating episodes that I've made so far, the very few that I've done, this one's my favorite. I loved it. Start to finish. So amazing. So amazing. Luigi and Tari are hanging out when they decide to go on another date together. But before this, she helps Amy look for Shadow, but with no luck. So they ask Nick where they learned Shadow was on the roof. Tari gives this info to Amy and runs off for the date. The date goes well, and the two end the night with a heartfelt kiss. Amy finally confronts Shadow about his recent behavior. He says he's been contemplating his feelings for her, and he just needs time to think about Ooh. it. So she invites him to dinner and all seems well. But Shadow is seemingly possessed by something. Yep. The dating episode was cute as always, and the setup for future part of the arc was handled well too. Top of the list, now let's see what Vector has been up to. 
The competition from the- I remember that one. I remember that one. Vector I remember has gathered that up one. the boys for a challenge. With the help of Kane, the challenge is last one to leave the rectangle wins. Okay. Fun fact. In the script, it said circle, and I had nothing- Like, I- Like, um, I- I told the, the person who wrote the episode, I have nothing circular in my house besides plates. And he was like, all right, fine, just switch it to like a rectangle or something. I was like, okay, fine, fuck it, that works. <laughs> so it changed last second. I'm happy that they acknowledge that it's a rectangle. And the winner gets four Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Where can you get those? Grand in on anyway, uh, the challenge Sonic Generations. And Vector is already losing his mind. He even throws Mario and Silver out of the arena. So SBO and Vector fight out of it, and Sonic wins by default. But meanwhile, whatever is possessing Shadow is planning something. This was just a goofy, fun episode, and I'll put it below changing feelings. Fair enough. Connect it. Okay. One of my favorite episodes in terms of quality. I think that one definitely is one of our best ones in terms of quality. I, I really do. Luigi and I, Fun fact, it's actually the episode I didn't animate a damn scene on. This was like the first episode I have. I didn't animate any of it. And uh, the animators who did work on that episode made it fantastic, and I like I was about to go on vacation, so they graciously did the like like they all banded together to like each do a page of the script, and I was like, you guys are the best. And it, honest to God, is probably one of my favorite ones in the series. Ari returned from their date, and Amy explains how things with Shadow have been improving. Steve questions Shadow's new voice, but he brushes it off. Shadow then decides to accompany Sonic and Tails on their quest for two chaos. Animals. Oh yeah, Knuckles in the background. Amy says how Shadow isn't like himself, but they all tell her she's just overthinking it. Then Nick and the gang go look for the final chaos emerald. After they find it, Tails reveals that the relic they found in Episode One contained dark energy, and that Shadow's life might be in danger. Oh Stakes no! Stakes are raising now. I'll <laughs> put this below that date night one. Oh yeah! I Sonic forgot about is surprised that, that Shadow was willing I to accompany that. him on him and Tails' chaos. I'm a flatline on that one. But Shadow excuses it with saying, "People change." Anyway, Sonic finally realizes that he's in love with Amy. Okay, fun fact: something that I probably should have emphasized a little more in the episode. Sonic was going to say that he doesn't like Amy. That uh, he would, but I may I made it kind of like I cut it off before. He was able to finish his sentence, um, and it kind of misled people to think that it was going to be Sonic and Amy, so it made a lot of people disappointed when Shadow and Amy ended up together. So I'm a very, very, very sorry for that. That's probably the one thing I'd go back and change about the arc, genuinely. This combo was cut short by them finding the last Chaos Emerald, and just as he's getting it, Shadow transforms. This was cool, but it was over pretty quick, so I'll put it at the bottom. Fair enough. That one's, that's deserving. Oh, this one was a Back at the castle, Tails explains how the shadow they've known is seemingly gone for good, replaced with the evil energy. There doesn't seem to be much options, but Nick has the idea to destroy the crystal, so Bowser takes a crack at it, and Shadow is back to normal. All is well, right? Well, Shadow reveals that an entity known as Mephiles had the goal of gathering the emeralds disguised as Shadow for an unknown task. Before they can get to Sonic, yeah, he's shot down off. and killed by Mephiles. Using the final Chaos Emerald, he powers up and destroys reality. Things are not looking good for the cast now. This is going above connecting the dots. Now oh, let's yeah. see what Nephilus is planning. Okay, this one coming up. Diamond in the Rough is definitely my favorite episode of this arc because it's the one... Like, I animated this one by myself 100% and I worked so damn hard on it. And it really... It made me, like, have to use all my abilities that I had at that time. Still one of my proudest moments in terms of editing. The gang finds themselves in a mysterious realm. Took forever for how many no fucking characters were in it. They all make sure they're okay, but then they realize Sonic has passed away, and he's not coming back this time. Everyone is devastated by this, and Shadow reveals that Mephilus plans to destroy everything in existence. Nick has the idea to use the Chaos Emeralds to bring Sonic back, and Amy is chosen as the leader. So with the power of the Chaos Emeralds and a kiss from Amy, Sonic rises once again. Sonic and the gang are ready to take out Mephilus once and for all, and using the Chaos Emeralds, they're all given powered up new forms. Oh yeah, so the introduction is Super Mario, Super Axel, and Super Nick. the portal to put a stop to this. Yep, this was truly peak. Yeah! Amy reviving Sonic was a very <laughs> heartfelt scene, and the gang powering up to defeat Mephilus went incredibly hard. This I am so happy yet. about that. Now the only thing left... 
Okay, that, that makes me so happy that he enjoyed it. That makes me so happy because I really, that was my goal was to get people like really excited and hyped. Be like, oh my god, what's the finale? I mean, like, they powered up in super forms. I didn't see that coming. I, I, that's what That was my goal. I'm very that's happy I missed that. One more episode. Oh, yeah, that was a good episode, too. The super gang goes face to face with Mephilus, fully intent on taking him down. The voice actor for Mephilus, uh, it's like the observer, he killed it. He killed it as Mephilus. He's also my voice actor for Kane. But he killed it as Mephilus. I would, like, as soon as I heard his audition, I knew. I knew for a fact that there was no one I would have rather played the main villain for this arc than him. So, Save my goodness. Mephilus doesn't even have a goal. He's just ending the universe because he can. Yep. So with that, the supers everyone. do their best at fighting him, but they can't even put a dent in him. Don't worry, though, because Sonic has an idea. Put all their powers together for a supercharged final attack. So they focus their energy into a concentrated power blast, finally taking out Mephilus and letting the world live in peace for just a little longer. Yeah, until the next home, arc. Sonic tells Amy that he's fine with them just being friends, and that he isn't the right one for her. Not only that, but he gives his blessing to Amy and Shadow's love. So Mephilus yep. is dead, and love is in the air. That's actually a real, that was really well said for how the, uh, the see, this arc concluded. That was really well Ruff said. Is the best, this is even better. Wait, dead and love is in the air if a diamond in the rough was the best this is even better the action scenes against mephilus were funny and thrilling at the same time not to mention the complicated love triangle between amy sonic and shadow finally being put to rest yeah. and you know what that was the last episode fun so fact my partner that is actually the one uh, who suggested the love triangle like so shout out to them but we're done Okay, this is a final stand. A diamond in the rough. Tari's late night date fiasco. Revealing the dark truth. Connecting the dots. Changing feelings. The competition from hell. Something's off the shadow and misplaced trust. You know what? That's actually a very solid tier. Uh, sorry, like, like list, not tier list. List of episodes. I, I think I think that's pretty close to mine. My favorite for this one still is a diamond. I probably just switched those two. And then yeah, that's it. Lastly, the the newest uh, sort of well, lastly. A Relic of Love arc, the the latest arc in the series. Uh, that one, I yet again, I wanted to up the quality, but also up the stakes. Like, um, last time it was yeah. uh, the whole world being taken over. This time, I wanted to be... The universe was at stake. Like, time and space itself would be destroyed. Their universe would be gone if they lose. Yeah. And I'm okay with making heroes lose. Sometimes it happens. But, um, yeah. of course, I, I didn't make the heroes lose. They, they won in the end, but... They definitely yeah, because if I did make them lose, then I'd be out of a show. ...to tell um, a story more driven on romance, but also have more yeah. action. I've been yeah, appreciating so the romance aspect in my series more, hence why I've been trying to, like, lean more into it. Because I don't want to just, like, leave it as, meh, it's there. I want to leave, uh, like, I want it to be just as important as, like, the action and all the other things that makes NRG NRG. So, but, yeah. I definitely really really enjoyed making the arc because i wanted to make something that was more romance driven because that is one of my favorite things about my series and yeah so I definitely if i just stop uh, talking this like this nick that recorded this will already answer everything by uh like do, making the best uh, i hate how i don't remember this the story i could with the skills i have did i literally just fucking said that hold up Uh, action-packed story I could with the skills I have but yeah so man fuck this shit my favorite episode from the Relic of Love arc I'd be really difficult I hate my to brain just because I, I I genuinely think that Honest to God is our best arc yet yes yeah. truly true I think the arc that's currently episode. going on is going to outbeat is the Relic of Love I don't know rough just because I like I animated that whole episode by myself I also said that oh my god put in a lot of sleepless nights i had to put in a lot of time and effort to edit the video to make it good and i genuinely think that uh, with the skill i blame mr puzzles, puzzles for this one best i could have done at that moment like nick said this was definitely the best arc yet now oh, he let's over. rank all the episodes oh you're gonna rank all of them hell yeah all right from worst to best we've got 27 okay i'm expecting a lot of the sinister arc episodes to be in the bottom because i was learning so if any, if your favorite episode was any one of the Sinister Arc, don't take it personal. It's just because quality definitely was improved as time went on. That's that's the thing with the, with quality; it gets better over time. 
Easter Disaster. 26. Mario and Sonic do something very illegal. 25. Sonic vs. Sinister. All right. 24. A Sinister Situation. All right. 23. I am the Eggman. Damn. 22. Really like a Sinister problem. Discovery. 21. Eggman's Announcement. 20. The Mysterious Employer. Right. 19. Destructive Friendships. 18. Misplaced Trust. 17. Eggman's Denial. Really? 16. All right. Meet the Sonic Trooper. 15. Enter Chaos Sonic. 14. An Upgraded Mess. Hell 13. Yeah. Something's Off with Shadow. 12. The Competition from Hell. 11. Changing Feelings. This 10. is so amazing. This is so fucking amazing. I love this to bits and pieces. Metal Madness. 9. Find the Chaos Emerald. 8. Connecting the Dots. 7. Sonic and the Amazing Digital Circus. 6. Revealing the Dark Truth. Wow. 5. Luigi's Date Night. Not surprised. Four, Tari's Late Not Night surprised. Date Fiasco. 3. A Diamond in the Rough. 2. Long Live the Eggman Empire. 1. This That's is the a sick final screenshot. Stand. That's a sick screenshot. I didn't feel like making an outro sub to Nick like that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. This is the final stand. Hell yeah. That was amazing. That was so amazing. I loved that. TJS, thank you so much for making that. I'm so excited to show this to my team and just all, all the people who work with, uh, like, who work making NRG happen. Just it, that, that genuinely made me so happy. Thank you so much. It truly means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. I... I, I could not thank you enough for making that. That was amazing. Very solid, uh, solid ranking. Very solid opinions. And I love the way you explained it. And uh, honestly, God, that that was that was incredible. Thank you so much. Um, if the next art comes out and you make another video, I definitely will be sure to react to that one. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Be sure to check out TJS. Link in the description below. Full credit to to them for making this amazing video. Thank you so much. Um, this was also amazing to just talk about my series and if you guys haven't seen it Be sure to go check it out cuz more episodes uh, with it are gonna be coming out very soon Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I'll be sure to see you in the next video Bye-bye The next episode drops tomorrow